Here is a quick demonstration how you can verify if the mileage on your Volkswagen or Audi to see if it is real or if it's been rolled back. I will use VCDS software, but if you don't have it, you can also use OBD11's free plan. The link is in description. The first thing you can check, go to application, select EDC mileage and press read. This will show you the mileage based on vehicle speed data. I wasn't able to see this because it says DC use is not supported or it doesn't start mileage, but it might work for your car. Second way is look at the live data values in different control units. This is the engine, go to advanced measured values, select distance. You can check all these values, especially control module distance driven and vehicle distance driven. And you can already see that the dashboard mileage is 317,000 kilometers, but the control module has 372,000. And I also tried moving the car so you can see that the mileage is increasing. So now we already know that the mileage is not real, but let's say you didn't find anything. You can also go to other control units like instrument control unit, look for mileage. This will most likely be the same mileage than your dashboard is showing, but it's worth it to check. Your next step to verify mileage in your car will be to go to each control unit, go to live data in each control unit and look for values by using keywords distance driven, total distance, odometer reading, mileage. You need to go to all control units and check in every control unit because every car is different and every car stores different live data. Next, go to Multimedia control unit. This is a very slick way to determine if your car mileage is true. Go to multimedia control units live data and you can find the live data for total hours of your multimedia system. So assuming you have the original radio in your car, now you can see the radio in this car was turned on for 16,000 hours. And if we can find out the average speed, we can estimate the mileage that the car should have by doing simple math. So 16,000 hours, but I will be counting only with 75% of those hours because you can have radio turned on without car being driven, which is 12,000. And 12,000 multiplied by 33, which is car's average speed, which I found on the dashboard, is almost 400,000. So cars estimated mileage is 400,000 kilometers almost. I am sure that odometer was rolled back. Now we can, we are, we still have two another ways how we can determine if mileage is fake or not. Go to instruments, adaptations, mileage. Another way is to go to instrument control unit, adaptations and select mileage. A lot of YouTube videos show this method as effective in finding the real mileage, but you can see that mileage is the same as in dashboard, even though the real car mileage is higher. Other way is to do full scan of vehicle and look at the trouble codes. Every trouble code contain, contains the freeze frame data and from them you can read when the trouble code was stored in the ECU and also the date. So you can also see different mileages for different dates. You can see what was the mileage year ago and that is a big help when you're trying to figure out if the odometer was rolled back. And the last way is to go to application, select history. Number 61, this is the battery adaptation control unit, which this car doesn't have, so this won't work. But you can look at gateway history and again you now have these rec records showing mileage and dates. So you can also use this to see and verify if the mileage in your car is real or not. So those were, those were the five or I don't know, maybe six ways how you can determine if your mileage is fake or not for sure will help you when you are negotiating price for used car if the mileage is fake that doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy the car but you can use it to negotiate a better better deal because mileage isn't everything a lot of cars are in great shape even though they are driven for half million or even the million kilometers but use it to negotiate a better price if you like this video, press the thumbs up so it can spread to more people that want to know if the car was rolled back or not. And you can also check, I have the very similar video where I used OBD11 instead of VCDS, so you can also check it.